I love the classic Diner Burger. You may know it from In-N-Out Burger, or you may know it from Shake Shack. It's actually easy to make at home. I want to show you how you can make the perfect smash burger in your kitchen. Come on, let's get stuck in. First of all, the beef. You want to use ground chuck. It has to be 80% lean, 20% fat. Grab about two ounces, roll it into a ball. Keep this nice and chilled. Get your griddle on the medium hot, add the ball, and then place a piece of parchment paper on top. Give that a pressing down to about half an inch. These take about 45 seconds to cook. A telltale sign is that the juices will be bubbling on the top. Turn it over, season it with some salt and some pepper. You want to add about a tablespoon of good quality butter. Next, some American cheese. Drape that over the top and place another patty on top of it. Let that cheese melt a little bit on the griddle. It's important to toast your bun. Give it a generous buttering and then place it on the griddle for about 30 seconds. Get it nicely colored. You want the edges to be nice and crisp. It's gonna add more flavor to the burger. Add some of that beautiful sauce, the recipe is below, to the bottom of the burger. And then you wanna to top the burger with some fresh plum tomatoes, some pickles, and some iceberg lettuce. I love shredded iceberg lettuce because it adds a great crispiness. Look at that Maillard reaction, that beautiful deep mahogany color. Add some onions and some more of that sauce. Place the top on and there you have it, the perfect smash burger. Feel free in your kitchen to get creative. Maybe make a Greek one, some cucumbers, feta cheese and some olives, a Southwestern avocado, Southwest season and barbecue sauce. A French one, caramelized onions, some brie and a Dijon mayonnaise, or maybe Mexican, some salsa with fresh cilantro, avocado. You can be creative. That's it. That's how you make a smash burger. For all the ways you can go wrong, they're in the description below. Until next time, I'm John Ashton. See you soon.